we will be taking the contracts for science data from space around Minmus, science data from the surface of Minmus. So let's check this one. Aha, uh -huh. science data from surface of Minmus. Come on and plant a flag on Minmus because we can and we will. Yes. All right, Gene, I hope your challenge accepted. Yeah, taking some coffee. I like a coffee too, you know. Sadly, the place where I'm recording doesn't have coffee. Now, we have 422 science and we're going to spend that on glorious research. Yes, advanced exploration, guitar, everything that's there. Life support, supply containers. Okay, that's interesting. Resource mapper, maybe not. However, scanning arm, capacity storage upgrade and ladders. I need ladders, people. If I'm going to be landing, I need the ladders. Okay, I'm thinking command pod, heavy rocketry. Oh, heavy rocketry could give me some nice engines. I'm going to take that. Thank you very much. And that leaves me with 172 science. So I can either take the spe something specialized control or I can take something 90-ish. Uh, I'm actually thinking going towards not simple command modules, command modules, landing. Yeah, landing could be nice. I'm just trying to figure out where do we have the landing legs. I mean, these landing legs might be actually handy. Heat shields, heavy rocketry. Yes, we're going to get those big engines, propulsion systems. Stacking. Oh, we can get nice stackers here and we can get the fairings. Do I need that? Ride share adapters. Uh, yeah, okay. Advanced fuel systems, big fuel tank. Nope, I'm still sticking around landing some, somewhere because these landing legs might be mighty useful for the landing if we're going to go and be doing the landing. Yeah, here we have the landing legs. Let's go with the landing, shall we? Yes, perfect. All right. So then let's go and let us take the upgrades because we took the three research points. I think we should have three upgrade points. Yes, we do. And we're gonna cram them where? Uh, actually, tell you what. I'm first gonna go and book transfers for do not eat and everything else. Yeah, add a Kerbal alarm clock alarm. Because I want to know when about should we start, you know, doing things do not eat and everything else. So, yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then let's plot this thing. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. All right, with that thing being said, let us continue and put, I'm thinking, let's put some science points into the rate one of the build pew. Now it's, we're building at 0 0.9 build points. Yeah, perfect. So let's recondition the launch pad and then we need to also uncover the science. Yeah, I know I'm playing this like sequentially, we should probably parallelize the stuff, so and I plan to do it. Probably from the episode after this one, or the one after that. So we have advanced exploration, heavy rocketry, and landing. We need to research that shit. Oh, stop. And through the magic of video editing, we have come to the point where everything becomes research right about uh, now. Yes, thank you. So that means we can actually now go in and design our ship. And yes, we're going to accelerate it like there's no tomorrow, as always. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what do we have. Let's start with this one, unpressurized, but we're going to shield it well. Good. It's going to be housing one Kerbal. I know. Then we're going to put two supply containers. One will have the sewage, another one will be food. Okay, we have everything for five days. Uh, we have... No, that's... Uh, 54 days food, but uh, only oxygen for a little bit. So experiments, we're going to up the data capacity on that one. Then we're going to be putting the, oh, come on, mystery goose, two of them. We're going to be putting the engineer, all the standard experiments that we put always because we're landing on a new biome, you know, 
Do you want to land on a new biome on Minmus? Sure. We're going to land, I don't know, Midlands, Lowlands, whatever lands. Uh, and the most importantly, the whole reason why I'm designing the lander will be the science junior and i'm going to be placing the heat shield below it so that he can shield, get shielded and return safely back to Kerbin with the experiments that we know and love yes that's kind of the point we have very few experiments coming back because it's really hard and these materials they do tend to blow up on re-entry so yeah this time i'm shielding it i'm taking no you know for an answer i'm I'm not taking no for an answer, yeah, uh, well, whatever. Anyway, batteries, solar panels, yes, we've got them all. We're gonna call it Minmus Materials Lander Mark II, good. Now, that being said, let's put the decoupler, and after that we put the, our standard terrier, and we're gonna do very similar-ish to the lander that we built for the moon. Yeah, because I wanted to have enough oomph that it comes back and, you know, returns very safely and everything is kosher. Now, that being said, let's put these landing legs. There we go. Another set of landing legs. Good. Uh, do I need the ladders? Okay, we need a fuel ducts. Yes, because we want to have these three landing on three, taking off on one. That should be good enough. Right. So, auto strut towards the heaviest part. Good. Atmospheric wise, we have, well, we have a total of 3035 meters per second. That's very nice. I want to be placing uh, the oxygen tanks because we'll need them. Now we have plenty of oxygen and can I put something else? No, these are just for gases. Oh, okay. I'm going to be placing this guy. Well, oxygen and water, well, we have plenty now. That means I'm gonna be putting the two sewage up on top. Yeah, because, you know, well, we don't want them, we don't want our Kerbal that will be flying this, uh, that the sewage overflows and then he is really in deep shit. Uh, yeah, poop, sorry. Anyway, uh, my point being, I was thinking of putting in some crates maybe and cardboard boxes and then I realized I don't have experiments to fill them. I only have the materials unit and I have the solar panels. Uh, why do I want the materials unit and the solar panels if I don't have anything else? The only experiment would be the atmospheric experiment. Well, okay, that's it. Bye bye containers. Anyway, the only one container that we have on top of the capsule will be housing a couple of the you know, EVA kits so that, you know, we EVA, um, ex not the experiments, repairs can be done. Okay, inline wheels, yes, thank you very much. We're gonna be placing those as well. There we go. Okay, decoupler, and now we're going to the bigger format rocket. I'm thinking 1.875 should be, should do nicely. I'm just gonna change the coloring. We don't want it looking like, you know, the Schmozilla, right. Beautiful. Okay, uh, that looks good enough to me. I need a aerodynamic fins. Then I need the two side boosters. I'm actually thinking of going with the three aerodynamic fins and then the three liquid boosters. Yeah, so that those liquid boosters are following in the footsteps of the other boosters uh, or, or the other tanks above. Okay, let's correct our staging. Yeah. That looks pretty fine to me, actually. Same thing with the fuel ducts. Yeah, we're gonna fire all three engines and we'll fire all three decouplers and all three separators. Perfect. Auto strutting everything towards the heaviest part. There we go. I don't know, that looks good to me. Now, uh, launch clamps, we place everything down. And I'm thinking just a little bit of lights to make it pop, you know, make it look a little bit nicer and another additional lights for the landing because we always want to have the lights for the landing there is good um is that everything i actually almost think it is oh right just checking the final staging and then we're gonna be warping the next lander until it's done so we have 20 days until it's built hit it ike well I have decided to cut that part out because uh, I should have either cut it out or put an epilepsy warning. So I figured it was better that I cut it out for your convenience alone. 
Right, so that's done and we should roll it out and then we're going to be selecting which Kerbal, which unfortunate, so, oh, sorry, which, which fortunate astronaut will be flying it. Yes, I was about to say which unfortunate soul will be sacrificed today. Well, sometimes they're the same. Anyway, uh, the rolling to launch pad is done and let's select our, oh, wait, we have 94 science. Ooh, advanced constructions. I might as well actually pull the research on that because I really want the fairings, the procedural ones, so we can actually start doing some more advanced stuff rather than to rely on the single fairing offered by the Mothra, which is, you know, bad word for SpaceX. Anyway, now that thing being said, advanced construction, and we can launch this thing. Catherine, come on, you're always getting in the way. Are you Jebediah? Um, let's see who we have. Alex, Dan, Dorothy, Stepan Kruchkin. Kruchinkin. Oh, this is going to break my tongue. I love it. All right. So we're going to be taking Stepan Kruchinkin as our pilot de jour. There we go. Let's launch the sucker. There we go. Up, up it goes. And yes, I'm providing it at two times acceleration because, let's face it, you've seen most of my launches and there's really not much, that much to talk about when we're launching stuff. However, it goes up, up and above and beyond and Stepan looks very happy about doing it. Right. As you can tell, our Delta V is climbing up because I'm trying to keep it steady. And there we go. The boosters detached willingly which is a good thing, always. And we're just now trying to burn slowly but safely eastwards, onwards to orbit. Yes, uh, Epoapsis is past 35 as of now. Yes, and we are accelerating gently towards the heavens, as I'm running out of things to say. Anyway, Stefan Krochinkin we have an apoapsis of 55 at the moment. I'm reducing the, the thrust a little bit, but uh, hopefully we have 60 second burn. I think we will probably circularize on this or, or on the next stage. We'll see how it goes. All right, there we go. And we have, come on, 694. So we will be circularizing on this stage, beautiful. Just a little bit of regular fiddlage with the maneuver node and the burn will be in one minute and 42 seconds. So let us just point maneuver prograde and step on. We're opening the solar panels so that you can have some power. Yes, please. And lights, camera, action. Look at him being excited all of a sudden. Oh, and they're replying, so see, haha. -ha. All right, anyway, let's point maneuver prograde, we said. Not orbit prograde, maneuver prograde. Yes, that means a little bit more down towards the ground, ground forks. There we go, good. All right, that's all sorted. Oh, look, and there's a moon in the background, beautiful. Let's just delete all these messages and Create everything clear. Everything is running smoothly. Uh, and the burn will start in 45 seconds. Well, let's see if we can do something about it through that. Where's the time acceleration button when you need it? Time warp. Yes, there we go. So we're starting our burn in five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Listen to that roar. It's a Bobcat, I think, engine this time. Yeah, I think it's the first time I'm using it because I've just unlocked it, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Stepan is holding on to his seat. Yeah, you're doing fine, Stepan. There we go, a little bit. It's 100 by 100 and I'm very happy, 101 by 100. That's good enough for me. Now, 
we should do the minmus alignment fiddledge so set the minmus as target and then we will be aligning ourselves doing the inclination change which is minus 4.6 so let's just change the maneuver let's go upwards and, and we minus 3.4 minus 1.2 a little bit more and we should be fine there we go 0 0.1 that's exactly what i wanted 0, 0.0 there we go all right so then it should be time for our maneuver node change burn that will be in 10 minutes and 53 seconds and after pointing our rocket maneuver prograde we will be starting the burn in 10 minutes and 25 seconds let's just warp to it getting ready and hit the burn Ike okay 8.3 so we shall reduce it to 6 point something that should be good enough it doesn't need to be perfect right so let's create the minmus encounter so minmus is already targeted we just need to create a maneuver node that will be aligning ourselves oh and look at that we already have an encounter okay periapsis 430 i need something more workable say 86 oh wait right let's burn i'm sorry i'm skipping through some various parts because you all know how they go and I've done it many times because the video was actually took roughly two hours to record and I'm trying to compress it into 33 minutes so you'll forgive me if I'm cutting out the boring parts anyway oh look at this this is gonna be a long burn by the way because thrust to weight on this terrier is not great per se and we are hauling quite a lot of fuel with us However, we are at vacuum, so we don't really care about the thr thrust weight that much, as long as it gets us where we need to go, which is Minmus. Right. So, see, our thrust weight is 0 0.70. It's, uh, given that we are in vacuum, that's not, that's not bad, actually. That's, you know, semi-decent. It does mean that we need to burn for a whole lot, one and a half minute, but it doesn't matter. It will get us where we need to go. Right. Almost there. So some more 15 seconds to burn, hopefully, and then we should have our Minmus encounter. Right. 75 meters per second to burn, and we're getting close. Let's just look at how it looks on the map. And right about now. Yes. Okay. Now, time for transition. We are crossing the radiation belt and we are going bye bye, Kerbin. We're going to Minmus. Yeah, we're crossing the radiation belts, but we really don't care about it because it's not necessary. Look at us go. Beautiful. Oh, how far we. Warning Serfan Kruchkin is losing his mind? What the hell? Why are you losing your mind? Okay, are you too cramped, buddy? Uh, what's affecting you? Sunlight? I don't know what, what to what or where to look. Drive full, drive empty, landed at no space. Ride low, ride high, via blah, whatever. Okay, devices, vessel devices. Exposed to moderate radiation, that's not a problem, but losing your mind is. Okay, Stefan, tell you what, I think you're cramped in there. Stretch your legs a little bit, will you? And while you're out there, give us a, an EVA report. 
I mean, you could take the surface sample, but there's no surface to take the sample from, so... Oh, I just love this theme. Imagine this without the UI. Now that dance is just poetry to me. All right. Stepan, yeah, you're doing your ABA report while hanging on to dear life. That works well with me. Right. Are you done with EVA report? Okay, two more seconds and then we go in. Thank you. Board the vessel, please. There you go. Hopefully you won't be taking anything else. Right. And another reason why he was losing his mind, because he didn't have anybody to talk to, because I forgot to extend the bloody antenna. Yeah, well, about that. Sorry. And he's cramped in that capsule, so cramped plus nobody to talk to. Of course he's losing his mind. Who wouldn't? Imagine that you stay 20, 54 days that is around, or what is, 20 days that's a round trip to Minmus and back, cramped in a toilet without anybody to talk to. And yes, I'm not talking about your mobile. I mean, imagine that you don't have a charger. Now that's a horror story, isn't it? Yeah, right. Who wouldn't be losing his mind? Anyway, so we're doing another EVA report because we are now in the Minmus sphere of influence. So might as well take an EVA report there. You have to be methodical and record all the possible signs that you can. There we go. Just breathe easily, step on, everything is fine. There we go. Come on, two, one. Okay, board the damn vessel, please. There we go. And we transfer the data, thank you. Good. Now, we have already collected the material study from this level and we need it from probably the other levels. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna just watch gently as the Minmus lander approaches. Well, you know, Minmus. Beautiful. There you go. This never gets old. All right. Now it's time for the orbital insertion burn, which is supposed to happen in uh, 56 seconds. Right. And it's going to take 180.3 meters per second. So we are already pointing in the right direction and we just need to burn. Stefan, are you ready? He is a happy as a doorknob. And I was there getting worried for a second. Well, no worries, I guess. So we have 25 more seconds to figure out what I'm going to say next. And then we will be starting the burn. So let's see. 10 nine eight seven six four oh i forgot five four three two one ignition yes burn away and we have 405 meters per second left in that stage that should hopefully be enough to get us to land we did insert into orbit. There we go. Beautiful. Because I don't want to be ditching the landing legs before we do the, you know, landing. So, all right. Let's just go down to the periapsis, after which I'm going to be probably burning a little bit retrograde. All right. So... We are going to get somewhere about here. I think we already landed in this lake, so I don't want to land in the lake. I want to land somewhere else. 
Right. So... Turn it retrograde. And after turning it retrograde, we are burning and I'm thinking to burn ever so slightly just to take off a little bit of the periapsis and I'm thinking of landing there somewhere in the, I don't know if it's a midlands or lowlands or highlands, I have no idea what it is, but I'm thinking of landing uh, past this lake. So yeah, past this flats. I think this is called lesser flats and after the lesser flats should be something. So just switching the camera. These are the lesser flats I think. No we are now above lowlands at least according to the biome reader which you can see as a part of this. Uh, yeah so now right accelerate accelerate to until we are past it. There we go, and I'm planning to land somewhere about here-ish. Not on the slopes, but just past the slope, this big flat area. So I'm gonna point a little bit retrograde and I'm gonna burn ever so slightly. Just to make sure that I do land on the right spot. Know that I'm taking very little thrust. I mean, Minmus is so friendly, you can actually go with no problems whatsoever. Right, so the idea is to land on this flat surface, even if it's on the rim of it somewhere. Now, that thing being said, I'm actually planning to land on this just in front of this little undulation over there, or nice word for a hole. Anyway, well, not whole technically, but yeah, slope-ish. So, as we're going gently down, I'm looking at my suicide burn countdown, my altitude, and it says Midlands here. So I guess it will be, no, Lowlands. Okay, so I guess we'll be landing in the Lowlands. There we go. All right. Oh, probably should take the altitude above terrain because this is not sea level per se. So Okay, a little bit of the suicide burn. Well, not technically full suicide. This is a little bit burned earlier on. I'm just trying to conserve as much fuel as I can because we need to be able to burn we have total of 200 meters per second and i don't want to be burning extra fuel so yeah 152 good enough turning uh, ever so slightly so we're landing on a slope that's 9.5 degrees okay that's not terrible i prefer flats because they're you know flat but I'll take lowlands if, if I need to there we go 10 degree slope I'm a little bit concerned well I should damn well be concerned oh there's the shadow let's extend the landing legs Okay, getting ready for the burn. Okay, we should just align surface alignment so that we don't have horizontal movement because then we can get tipped over very easily. So as you can tell, I'm making sure that the retrograde marker and the dot are aligned, more or less. We have 23 meters per second to shave off, that's not a problem. We have 73 meters per second in the tank. There we go. 56, come on. Ah, there's the shadow, I can track it. 
okay 45 5 meters per second we are 30 meters above the terrain 20 I can see the lights uh, 10 meters 9 say 7 6 and we have landed okay our RCS is holding this thing level I'm gonna disable the RCS ever so slightly just so that the air the, the, the spacecraft settles good we're not tipping over nice good that's called a landing ladies and gentlemen right so I'm just gonna be starting all of the experiments and guys while we're at it I think we've been running long enough for the today so thank you very much for watching as always like if you like the episode hit subscribe to continue watching this and I will be seeing you in the next one.